Hey tennis fans, welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. Today we're reviewing the Dunlop IDAP Force 105. The IDAP Force 105 weighs 10.8 ounces strong and has a 10 points headlight balance. With a 100 square inch head size and a 16 by 19 string pattern, this racket is exceptionally maneuverable but still quite stable around the court. With a 310 swing weight and a flex of 64, this racket is both easy to handle and comfortable to play with. The Force 105 is the lightest of the IDAP series of rackets as well as the largest head size. I felt that this was more unstable than the rest on off-center hits. Spin production and power were good with this racket as well as it being more comfortable than the other rackets to play with. I feel like I noticed the difference in the shock sleeves the most with this racket. This racket can't be aimed at just one group thanks to its customizability, so as long as you like one of the colors, a racket can be made just for you. The first thing I noticed about the IDAP iForce 105 was how powerful the racket was. With a slight oversized head at 105 square inches and Dunlop's new aero boost grommets, one thing that this racket doesn't lack is power. I felt like I had no trouble generating power with this racket, but with the 105 being lighter than the other IDAP frames at 10.2 ounces, this racket was a little too light for me, and I felt like I wasn't able to get my timing right on it. Then, with adding the medium shock sleeve, gave the racket great response and feel on my serve and ground strokes. I'd recommend this racket to any beginner to intermediate player looking to get a little more power off their rackets while still maintaining good feel and comfort. I felt this was an easy frame to swing through on ground strokes, punch volleys, and accelerate through serves. This combination allowed for a large sweet spot and great vibration management. What I found missing for this combination for my style of game is a lack of feedback and feel. The frame was a little too bulky for my swing speed, and at times it felt clumsy trying to unleash and plow through a heavy ground stroke. I can see this racket suiting someone with shorter strokes looking for controlled pop on their shots. Well that does it for us today. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our latest racket reviews.